Ladies and gentlemen, next to me on the sofa, I'm very proud to introduce my old mentor, um, consultant for Horeca Development, Mr. Michael Wheeler. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. It's been ages. It's been forever, Mike. It's been forever. We uh, started working together eight years ago in a place called Big Daddy's. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, Big Daddy's uh, six years, probably two of the best years of my life right there. Mine too as well. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, we're here at Venues uh, 2011. Can you tell us a little bit about the fair? What do you think and, and uh, the developments you've seen the last couple of years? And I've got to say that, that this thing is growing like a weed, and it's fantastic to see. It's getting more and more professional, shooting higher and higher. Uh, I think the focus of it is better. I think they're more realistic with, the, with what's going on in the market and reflecting that here on, on the fair itself. And at the same time, they still give it a certain style. They still give it a certain... Um, panache they give it a certain style above yeah what you find in most of the other fairs you, you can't find this anywhere else this is a very distinctive thing you see it back in 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 the industry as well you know i think the industry it's time to, to get the industry in the butt i think it's time for the industry to wake up a little bit and actually take the cue from this the fact is we're professionals we work in a profession and it's time that we actually start showing that every day every shift every service encounter we could take a cue from what we're doing here. Because what I've noticed is since the bar show in Holland has is, is been going on, everybody says, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Is it coming or? Is it coming? Of a lot of people are shouting that. No, for I think you're right. I think um, it's coming, but it's not going to come on its own. I think uh, it's quite obvious. Um, this will work and we will be considered the professionals that we are and we will get the opportunities that are afforded the professionals but we have to take it. We have to grab on with two hands and take it. And that's key. So what we're talking about, being a profession and being professionals, of course, it's on its way. But it's only going to be a handful of people who actually break the ground, smash their teeth on the reality of it, and then we go big. And that's the beauty of this fair. You've got a lot of international speakers, a lot of influences from overseas. And where do you see Holland compared to the rest of Europe? Ooh, now, Holland has actually weathered the economic storm pretty well. Uh, I know it's been tough on everybody, and you see that reflected on the bottom line everywhere. Balance sheets are not what they used to be. But, you know, it's always been an amateur's market, let's be honest. Um, and separating the amateurs from the professionals, that has been necessary for quite some time, and it's actually reflected in the last couple of years. It's been tough. But I've got to say... There's an optimism in the air. There's a real opportunity in the air. And I bet you, bottom dollar, that the true professionals who are going to make the biggest impact in the next three to five years are walking around this fair right now. So, for the future? You know, I think what it comes down to is uh, I've heard some really good ideas about um, organic and, and biological uh, drinks um, and taking that big mainstream. It's something that people want. People want tourism. They want people who are thinking in advance. So I've seen the Urban Jungle, a prize winner from the satellite contest. I'm presenting uh, Rotterdam versus Amsterdam, which is sort of the top entrepreneurs. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a serious kick-ass battle. <laughs> um, and these are guys who are, they're not in their shells. Huh? These are the guys who are out there making that happen. So all things considered, I think we're headed in the right direction. Um, this sort of event helps people to focus on that reestablish old ties it's a it's an ideal platform for that what can we expect from you in the future what are, what are, what are your plans <laughs> that's a that's a good one it kind of depends on the time of the day of the day of the week but I'll be quite honest with you I you, you can take the boy out of the horica and I've been consulting for a couple of years now and I'm getting quite some success with that but you can't take the horica out of the boy and it's time and I know you as well correct it's time for me to get my feet wet and uh, watch this space uh, we're uh, coming up with uh, a couple of new things, and I think around this time next year we'll be making a serious announcement. Yeah? So we'll see you back next year on the sofa. That's a deal. Thanks, Mikey. Good chatting up again.